All right, now notice that we've added several metal poles adjacent to the well. The poles are our symbol for the pole gene, and the pulley is our symbol for reverse transcriptase. So together, these ideas should help you remember that the pole gene encodes for reverse transcriptase. Now we've shown some scissors on the rope that's coming out of the well. The dwarf uses these to trim the ropes as he's pulling water out. In any case, the scissors represent a protease, because protease enzymes cleave other enzymes, just like scissors cut paper. Because this is next to the metal poles, you should be able to easily recall that the pole gene also encodes for aspartate protease. Finally, we've shown another dwarf next to the poles that's tying ropes together. This is a symbol for integrase, because integrase essentially tethers the viral genome to the host genome, just like this dwarf is tethering two ropes together. So this is here to help you remember that the pole gene encodes for integrase. If we return to this image, you can see that pole encodes for reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease. You can also see these enzymes inside of the virus right here. Now you can see that we've added the word envious to the witch's dress. Obviously she is pretty envious because she is starting this war over the fact that she's not the fairest in all of the land. But we've also added this word on her shirt to reinforce this idea. In any case, the word envious sounds like env, which should help you remember the env gene. This gene encodes for GP160, which then becomes GP120 and GP41. To help you remember this idea, we've shown a large group of 160 soldiers moving away from the witch and then splitting into two groups inside of the mirror, a group of 120 soldiers and 41 soldiers. The largest group of approximately 160 soldiers represents GP160. The smaller group of 120 soldiers right here represent GP120. And the smallest group of 41 soldiers right here represent GP41. So the fact that the group of 160 soldiers is splitting into two smaller groups should help you remember that the M gene encodes for GP160, which then becomes GP120 and GP41.